The year was 1958 when Eagle Harbor held its first international frisbee tournament. Fast forward 56 years to this weekend and teams from across the country gathered in Calumet for the annual Coca-Cola International Frisbee Tournament. TV6 Jennifer Perez was there and she has the story. From the sidelines, Pete Riley, a competitor, watches his son Jake play Guts Frisbee. Both are competing in this year's Coca-Cola International Frisbee Tournament. He played last year with me and he decided to play with some guys his own age, which I don't blame him. You know, those are the guys that can keep it going and that's what I want. Riley got back into playing Guts Frisbee five years ago and his son also joined. Just how they could just catch shots that fast and that I knew I wanted to be one of those guys that could catch that fastest shot. This year, 13 teams are competing. Each team must win two out of three rounds against their opponent to advance to the end. It's awesome. I love it. It's addicting. We're out here on nice weekends playing frisbee with all these people. It gets competitive and it's just an awesome time. The sport originated in Eagle Harbor in 1958, but over recent decades, the popularity has declined. So they've been trying to get younger generations involved. And now July 6th is Frisbee Day in Michigan. The resolution talked about the, sport, the importance of the sport to the local area, to the state of Michigan, and how we've really um, been the epicenter, if you will, of Guts Frisbee and, uh, and uh, Frisbee sports for all these years. As for the Riley's, Guts Frisbee is turning into a family tradition. In Calumet, Jennifer Perez, TV6 News.